My father would tell me stories. In the heart of the mountains lived a mystical race who desired only peace. <laughs> I can hear him now. Uh, these mystics, he said, they valued life and used gold only for the mausoleums. All creatures were accepted among them, except the men who were warned to stay away from the bellicose and greedy. Let me guess, they went anyway. Aye, uh, being bellicose, they did. And being greedy, they went after the gold. The mausoleums desecrated, the mystics cursed the humans and hid themselves away. They remind me of Ceridian. Good rest, though. not. Did you feel that? It's close. I can see. I should take over. I can see. I should take over. My voice commands you! Unveil! Thank <laughs> you. 
to me. They never learn, do they? Quicken yourselves. Can I join in too? I cannot work this one out. I think a way to pass could be near. over yet. Don't let that specter get to the corpse.
this place looks like the drawings on the map. <gasps> The mountains must be rich in ore. It looks a bit rickety. Well, it's built for a team. One man alone should be fine. Should be. That's almost it. The pattern needs to line up.
almost there. Not a pleasant way to die. Not a pleasant way to die, is it? The lift should be freed now. The beams look fragile. Well, they hold. Would you rather climb? If it were up to me, I wouldn't be here to begin with. No. Have we climbed higher or has the weather gone colder? The nightmare is at work. She's likely using the weather in New Eden to further isolate its people. Then once the curse is lifted, the snow will disappear. I think so. Yeah! <laughs> 
Not gonna ask for help? Yes, nearby. Ready and waiting. Run a ghost. We reach shake, don't you? Standing by. Oh, I hate those things. Wasn't your first, won't be your last. Aye, thank you. See these body parts? Good place to manifest what may linger nearby.
help if you need it. Yes, something's here. You're not a bad fellow to have around, you know. Did your dogs, did you? Don't get cocky. There's always more to learn. Key thing about a scourge? Scourge is made of many spectres merged. Not always. A harvester, for example, is a scourge born of a single spectre. A scourge will always seek a new physical body, often made of different materials. Very poor. Perhaps you'd prefer an easier question? On the nature of a ghost, perhaps? As I thought. Cocky. I hope it's enough. Do you hear that? Over here. Oh, Fardy! Did you 
you see that? Let's follow it. A safe harbor, should we need a moment's peace. Wait. Where are you? Oh, there. Stay put. Here you are. Good day. My name is Rebecca Hardgrave. How may I help you? Are you the one who's attracting the wolves? Wolves? What wolves? Who are you exactly? I'm Antea Duarte. This is Red McGraith. We're banishers. Do you know what that means? Banishers? That means... You can speak to the living on behalf of the dead. That's part of it, yes. Why, do you have someone in mind? Ferdinando Miller. My Fardy. Death parted us, but my love is strong. I came back for him. I love him so. Not once has he come to see me. I must know why. There's no delicate way to ask this, I'm afraid. How did you die? We left civilization in New Eden Town for the cold desert of Fort Jericho. The path was steep and rough, and we were greatly burdened. It was hell, but we walked through it together. As we walked, I fell into a daze. I remember little after that. A pain that grew, a great, uncontrollable tremor. Fatigue, a deathly fatigue. Fadi was at my side as ever. He held my hand, bade me sleep. When I opened my eyes, I was here, alone. How did you meet him? It was market day. I'll never forget it. It was rich, exotic, 
an abundance of treasures from across the known world. I saw him through the crowd. Our eyes met. I didn't know it then, but I was meeting the love of my life. I could not admit it to myself, not at first, but I had to have him. And in the end, I did. New Eden's a big place. Where can we find him? We were on our way to Fort Jericho. We were to open a store together. It was to be a new beginning for us both. Together. Yet he's there, alone. If you know where he is, why not just go there? I've tried. At first I was able to visit him, in the quiet as he slept. I'd watch over him. But now, something hinders me. I cannot reach him. I must know that he is well. We have to go now. Find him, please. Have another in sight. What are you thinking? more of a feeling. Something's wrong. Your senses are sharpening. She certainly didn't tell us everything. peaceful place in different times before the nightmares influence you mean let's reach the fort and a fire and warm you up is it just me you i felt it too Something's concealed. Trouble ahead.
specters are attacking the fort. Did we miss a few? Hold there. None in, none out. Not living nor dead. Name's Red McCraith. I'm obviously a banisher. Open the door there. I've business within. Your business is, if you'll excuse my articulating the evidence, not my business. I have my orders. You can't come in. I hear you, friend. What's your name? My name's Andrew White. You seem a pleasant fellow. I like a Scot me, but standing here, I'm on duty. And when I'm on duty, I'm not your friend. Uh, listen, mate, folk in here have problems enough, and I can't be disobeying orders. Either priests or Pennington would have my guts, and I fancy neither. Pennington knows me. He'll know I can help. I'm sure he does. But put one dead man down, and three come back next day. Round here, sweet victory fast turns bitter. Bottom line is, the captain is indisposed, and I'll not add your complications to the pile. Now, you want to lend a hand? Mrs. Priest and her party are overdue. You can't miss the outpost. It looks out across the valley. If you could find her, make sure she doesn't die, you'd surely gain her favor. And favor, as they say, opens doors. Get in a fight and find your boss and dig her out of whatever hole she's in. All right. I can do that. They have spectre troubles. Let's first clear the nearby nest to relieve the fort, then deal with the missing. How holds the fort? How holds the fort? Precariously, that's how. Our strength dwindles. And we'll soon run out of powder. Priest took Williams and that other fella, and off they went, scavenging for supplies. They've not yet returned. It's dangerous out there. The scavenger may easily become the carrion. The dead are coming, and you want to gossip. <laughs> I admire your sang Freud, and that's the Lord's. Right. Find our friends, Banisher. Or put... I'll try. As soon as I take care of the spectre. Death knocks at their gates. No wonder they won't open. They don't have a choice. Another attack may overrun them. The nest might be near. There's a trail to follow in the snow. More coming. Come and get your breakfast, boys. You shouldn't stay in there. These pests don't spring from nowhere. This isn't over yet.
make it yield. That's it. That's the place. Fill in the hole. Bury them all. I should buy the fort a little time. Let's hope it's not too late for the famous Mrs. Priest. Stuck. Looks like you're walking. Looks like. I wonder how many there are in the fort. 
Dewer by the day, I'll wager. Still, better to be inside than out. with spectres. Did the foraging party really come this way? That would explain why they haven't returned. Is that? Yes. Something's here. This one's not been dead long. Hmm. Let's hope he stays that way. Looks like they were taken by surprise. There might be a way to open this door from the other side. According to our map, the treasure can't be far. Ah! 
Think you could take on a ghost? This isn't over yet. A timely arrival. You'll be Haskell's banishers. Thank you. Thank you both. You can see me. Clear as day, just as I can see. This is my husband. I am Helen Priest. And Thea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGraith. It is rare that the living can see the lingering dead. All I know is one day I woke after seven long years of grief, and my Sebastian was back. It was as if my prayers had at last been answered. That was enough for me. In times of danger, I am duty-bound to protect the woman I love. You understand? Seven years. Why come back now? It did not feel like seven years. Suddenly, I felt her pain calling to me. Divine intervention or otherwise, all that matters is that my dear Sebastian is back. Now, when I need him most. Andrew White sent us. He thought you might be in trouble. Plainly, you needed your guardian angel. We needed more than one. Thanks to you, we'll resupply the camp. Matthews and Williams did not die in vain. This was a risky expedition. But Helen had no choice. If the survivors were to rely on Pennington alone, the fort would have already fallen. I suspect that's so. Sometimes difficult choices must be made. That's courage. All the courage in the world will be worthless if those in command won't match it. 
Pennington did this while monsters relentless besieged the fort. But make no mistake, these men's deaths are on the captain's conscience. If he has one. How so? Seven years ago, a plague came to New Eden. Pennington quarantined the sick in the mines, walled them up. They were dark times. Hard times. None knew what the morrow would bring. We all lost much. Too much. A second in command, Sebastian volunteered to stay. Walled in with the others, he held out the longest. He died a hero. And now the Forsaken are rising. They demand revenge. Who would blame them? I watched them die. Soldiers and miners, sick and hungry, begging for help they knew would never come. Captain Pennington has much blood on his hands. I'm sorry. You've been through a lot. We have. We are, and will persist till we prevail. We should get back to the fort. We will escort you. Doubly blocked. A banisher marched with my father's infantry. Good to be Soldiers usually carry their ghosts with them. War is good for our business. I take it that's how you met. I know a soldier when I see him fight. I never worked for the army, but something like that. We'll come back for you, my friend. My sympathy. for two miserable powder boxes. How low has Pennington brought us? If you didn't like him, why did you follow him? I followed his reputation, but he's no longer the same man. What would you do in his place? I'm doing it. He sits behind his walls waiting for them to fall, and I'm out here fighting to live. We're fighting for our lives. The captain is in the way. These internal conflicts are a risk for the stability of the fort. A necessary risk for the survival of all. But I agree. This must end. You may leave the crates. I'll send someone back for them. Yeah, the path should be quiet. We cleared the area of the Spectre's Nest. Well, that's a relief. Follow me.
Open the gates! Priests! What are you lot waiting for? Open the gates! Go talk to Pennington. Make him understand, if you can. Where can I find him? He hides in his office. You'll find him there. Where are the others? Williams and the other chap? Matthews. We were ambushed. They fell. May God have mercy on their souls. Captain Pennington. No time. No way out. No hope. No way in. No time. No time at all. Captain Pennington, sir. Mr. McGrath, you live. There's work to be done. Work? You had work. A mission. To bring one last glimmer of hope. To gladden our hearts before the pit takes us all. You secretive bastards haven't helped. The job is done. There's no more hope and little enough time. All that remains is the pit. Welcome to the last stand, McGrath. Welcome to the end. I wouldn't surrender just yet, Captain. I found Helen Priest. We brought supplies. A waste of effort on both accounts. Hardly. We saved a life. Resupplied, you may save more. For the sake of what? For the sake of days, a week, perhaps? You save no one. You prolong the terror. The dead will come. Our throats will feel their bony fingers soon enough. The end is inevitable. The people man the ramparts, ready to fight. You sound like priests. She has changed. Her return to Fort Jericho has made her impulsive, irrational, quarrelsome. I believe she did not fully grieve her husband's loss. Returning to the scene has, it seems, reopened the wound. It festers. She'll join the lieutenant soon enough. When our defences crumble at the last, the pit shall take us all. Fair to say your tactical retreat from New Eden Town has not served you. The town was doomed to fall to the curse. We disagreed on everything. There was nothing left to do but leave. We did not know there'd be no escape. No Smith gathered the board and the governor let the afeard flock to him. Never agreed on anything in the first place. The new Smiths are holed up in the woods, planning soon to leave for Boston. <laughs> they may leave for Boston, but the curse will follow. The curse will follow until their backs are against the wall. The governor is no more. His son takes charge. They rebuild as best they can. <laughs> Little Lammy Haskell. Truly. Well, better him than his father. May the vacuous peacock rest in peace. As the commanding officer, you must know all the local lumps and bumps. The lumps and bumps can smooth themselves. I have other priorities. Why did you come to New Eden, Captain? Why here? Far from the many wars we fight, you mean? I had shot enough Frenchmen and more than enough Indians. Did no one come with you? Keep to your business, son, not mine. It's just there's a portrait hanging on the wall. A family. 
I had a wife and daughter once. Once. I'll not entertain you with their story. Tell me more about your story. I did my duty and had the fortune to return alive. That's all. And I thought that too. I was wrong. Silence alone. If ever I do tell, I'll not be telling you. How do things stand, Captain, as you see them? Uh, little has changed. The dead flood from the mines. We shoot them down and gain respite. Soon, the onslaught begins anew. The clock of our extinction ticks on towards the hour. We may no more defeat the dead than we may vanquish the ocean waves. Folk have little enough hope. And you're leading them further into the darkness. I've heard the whispers, the murmurs, the plotting from the shadows. We hold till the last. We resist till retribution rises from the pit and drags us all to hell. Well, that's something worth waiting for. I fail to see the appeal of this slow agony. How unfortunate. Because thanks to you and the time you bought us, the agony will be all the slower. Permission to take my leave, Captain. And if I refuse it? Are you trying to recruit me, Captain? Do you really think I'd take the King's shilling? <laughs> if I were to offer enough shillings, I'm sure of it. I need no new lieutenants. But if you wish, you may stay. This key unlocks the unused watchtower. You'll build it while you're here. On the one hand, a captain beaten by the world. On the other, his rival, haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful spectres. Behind all the shit, there's something else. Something darker. Could be worse. Could be underground. Vanishes. May I have a word? Helen, something wrong? Apologies for disturbing your rest. I'm afraid it can't wait. What did you think of the captain? Well, 
I saw an officer alone, a proud man turned to stone perhaps by years of war. I saw a broken man. I did not see the tyrant you described. Inaction is tyranny. He will not act, but nor will he get the hell out of the way. I do not disagree, but the captain needs help. I too was a soldier, broken and haunted. With Antea's help, I recovered. Pennington may need the same. Leave Pennington to me. The good folk of the fort need your help. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll oust Pennington. How goes it with Sebastian? I'm not sure. I had never let go of my grief. I was bereft, empty. His absence gave me substance. I clung to it, useless really. My husband died in the dark with nothing but my handkerchief to soothe his last moments. And now, he's back. If each worthwhile thing in life is to be lived and then when it is gone, to be grieved, then what now? I have to believe our love is enough. Love is all grief can hang. <laughs> and yet I cannot hold him. I cannot feel his warmth. He is there, but he is not there. That hurts. All things are fleeting. Gaze upon the ghost you love and you can't deny it. Bitter though the thought may be. Yes, tis a blessing and a curse. Yet against all reason, we persist. Let us make the most of time remaining. Is it your belief that Pennington's quarantine lies at the heart of the problem here? That this is why the dead rage so? What else? He walled them in. Miners, nurses, soldiers, the healthy or the sick, he buried them all. And then he lied about it. I'll brook his callous cowardice no more. Much goes on around here, and you seem to know about all of it. I try, and I could do something about it if the captain was out of the way. What brought you to New Eden? I came with Sebastian, willingly, mind you. My father was a soldier. I knew there'd be travel. Sebastian courted me for three years. I swore when we married I'd follow him to the end of the earth. And here we are. How's morale about the fort? The fort has known better days. Not many, mind. It's always been miserable. Folk deserve better. They fought so hard and lost so much. The captain must show them a future. Where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy. But the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that, who knows? Underground again. Wonderful. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. Pennington the Jailer. Do you speak of Deborah? What did he do? I was away from New Eden Town at the time. Rumours said she was a witch, I later heard. And so too did the captain. The court agreed. Who knows what urges drove the captain then? He is a secretive man, and always has been. We should go. Then it's agreed. When you're ready, you'll investigate the mines. Take the hoist to the waterfall, near the outpost you first found me. From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you.